right, Nick, free agency is here. Not technically, but it is so close. The teams are already making moves, and none other than the Los Angeles Rams have made a huge signing. I think this is a great pickup for them. Let's get straight into the news, then we can talk more about it on the other side. This, of course, is from on ESPN. It says, free agent guard Jonah Jackson has agreed to a three-year, $51 million contract with the Los Angeles Rams. A source confirmed to ESPN. This deal comes a week after the Rams re-signed guard Kevin Dotson to a three-year, $48 million contract. Jackson was a pivotal part of the Detroit Lions offensive line, which has arguably been the strongest group on the team for the past couple of seasons. I would say arguably one of the stronger groups in the NFL at that. Jonah Jackson to the Rams seems like a huge move here. Nick, curious what your thoughts are on this one, but Rams fans, let us know in the comments section below. This offensive line seems to be shaping up pretty nicely, but there's still a couple other options the Rams could make. What do you think is going to be the most valuable position to bolster moving forward, whether it's free agency or the draft? Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this latest pickup by the Rams? So I think for me, it's a clear message that Sean McVan and Les Snead believe that they are 100% in title contention right now. They just need to make sure Matthew Stafford has as much time as possible, avoids the injuries that hurt him over the past two seasons. And I think we saw that at the end of 2023, how good this Matthew Stafford-led Rams offense was. I hearken back to that Baltimore Ravens game in Baltimore. We know what Baltimore's defense did to CJ Stroud twice. We know what the Baltimore Ravens did defense did to Jared Goff and the Lions. We know what that Ravens did to the Chiefs and Pat Mahomes. Uh, Matthew Stafford, him, the Rams, Sean McVay, the running game, the whole the whole thing had a field day against that really nice Ravens defense, the best defense in football. I think Sean McVay and Les Snead view that sign along with the entire finish to the 2023 season, that this is a team in title contention right now. And you don't make this move because you already have a guy at left guard in Avila that you like as a rookie this past season. You don't make this move to potentially replace Avila if you don't think now is the time to go all in, go really aggressive over these next two or three years. And look, this doesn't mean Avila's being benched. It's clear what the strategy is for the Los Angeles Rams. Going through their debt chart right now, between Jonah Jackson, between Avila, between Coleman Shelton, whatever happens there, and of course the re-signed Kevin Dotson, out of those guys, three will play, three of them will play, obviously, left guard, center, right guard, right? Coleman Shelton, although he sits number one right now on the Rams debt chart, he may not be the guy, right? Jackson has played center in the NFL before, right? He played center for a few snaps for the Detroit Lions when he was needed to. That's not his primary position, but he can do it. Avila coming out of college, according to NFL.com, they thought he would have a bright future either at guard or at center. So he's a guy that's projected to have positional flexibility. So again, if you're a big Avila guy, and we are, I don't think this means he's benched forever. I just think most likely Jackson, Avila, and of course, Donson will play. It's just a matter of who's playing center and who's playing left guard. I think Jackson is probably more suited for left guard and to let Avila compete it out for center. I think he could handle that probably pretty well. But no matter how you look at it, the Rams truly believe they're in title contention right now, and they're showing out the big dough to make sure they give Matthew Stafford all the help he needs to make a deep playoff run. Yeah, Nick, and I think, like you said, I think that's really great. I think Avila moving over to center would be a great option. But to have that core on the offensive line in the center and having the great tackles as well as having Steen and Jackson, I think this is the offensive line now you can feel safe behind if you're a guy like Matthew Stafford. You feel like you have all the time in the world, and this is something that in the past you didn't really have a ton of time in certain situations, especially with injuries and things like that. Now you have a stacked offensive line, and you have a lot of positional flexibility. Like you said, a couple of these guys can shift around the center of this offensive line and really not make it too much difference. And also... The Rams also were able to pick up a big, big guy at the tight end position. And uh, I believe his name's Colby Parkinson. Yes. Yep. And he's a great blocker as well. I think he could be a really big asset. This guy's huge, like 6'8", 250 pounds. So I think the Rams are really just picking up guys and stacking the box as far as that offensive line slash tight end position goes, where you can think Matt Stafford is like, hey, I've got a beefy, you know, Great Wall of China basically in front of me. No one's getting around this. I can throw it, air it out all day, and this has to feel good for Rams fans. When Matthew Stafford is healthy, when he's comfortable and throwing it like he can in a really great pocket, 
that is when they're at their best. And I think these latest signings, especially Jenner Jackson, who's one heck of a player, I think this is going to be the best iteration of the Rams that we've seen in quite a while. I, you know, I agree 100%. Even the postseason loss to Detroit, I think everyone watching that game, Lions at home, all the energy, all the momentum, the Rams, I think, outplayed them, had more yards, had more first downs. Some red zone issues, a questionable call towards the end of the game hurt the Rams. Obviously, they fell one point short. But if you look at the entire NFL landscape, if you look at the five quarterbacks that you would consider you have this quarterback, you have a chance to win a championship, to be serious about it. You've got, of course, Patrick Mahomes. You've got Josh Allen. You've got Joe Burrow. You've got Lamar Jackson. Haven't seen the playoffs, but two-time MVP. He's a super talent. Number five is Matthew Stafford, right? And he's the only guy right now in the NFC that I think is in that tier. When you have a championship coach in Sean McVay, which obviously he is. You have a great GM in Les Snead. He obviously is. You have a championship caliber quarterback. You go all in. It worked a few years ago. The Rams are taking a kind of similar approach. They're not doing the exact same thing in terms of trading away all their draft picks. They're really narrowing on that focus of if Stafford is healthy, we can be a championship contender. And I believe them. And this move, I think, will go a long way to supporting that.